If you have ceilings in your home that are not very pleasing to the eye or if they're pretty terrible like the ones we have in our bathroom that are the popcorn style and also very, very uneven, then today I have a really inexpensive and simple fix. Hi everyone, my name is Shannon and welcome to my channel, The Daily DIYer. I do wanna thank the original Super Glue for sponsoring today's video. To get started, I do want to go ahead and show you our terrible, awful ceilings so you can see the before, and then I will take you through all of the steps on how easy it is to update. So here is a look at the before, and just to give you a background, our home is over 100 years old, and we assume that this bathroom was an addition onto the back of the house, probably in the 70s. And since then, it has had a couple of updates of its own. And so the ceiling has kind of just taken a beating and I think they added the popcorn ceilings to hide it. So one of the first things we did was to remove the old exhaust fan. Once we did that, we realized how ancient it itself was. So it definitely needed all new parts and insides. And so here is a look at the new box and we are going to have to cut around this as we are adding the ceiling. So this is what we're gonna be using. It is beadboard. It comes in four foot by eight foot sheets and we're gonna use that to cover our popcorn ceilings. You're gonna need a few supplies for this. You need a circular saw, also a drill with a large drill bit, a jigsaw, you'll also need a tape measure and pencil, and one of the most important things is our Total Tech by the original Super Glue. This product is going to come in handy for so many different projects in our bathroom remodel because it is an all-in-one heavy-duty adhesive plus a sealant. So you can use this on all materials, all weather, and even under water. So this is what we're gonna use to help hold up our ceilings because it has a super tight and instant bond. You will also need a brad nailer and two inch long brad nails. We're starting by measuring our ceiling and just for reference, our bathroom is about six foot wide and about eight and a half foot long. And of course, we're also going to have to measure where our vent box is so that we can cut a square out and allow for uh, space for that on our beadboard. Here we have the beadboard flipped upside down and I'm transferring those measurements onto the back. This is a drywall square, which kind of made it a little bit easier to make those long straight lines that we needed to cut our beadboard down with. And we're using a circular saw to do this. And here's the look after we had transferred the measurements onto the back of the beadboard to allow room for our exhaust fan box. I used my drill and drill bit to drill holes into those top corners. That's gonna give us a easy transition point to cut out those corners. And now it's time to break out our Total Tech all-in-one heavy duty adhesive and sealant. And I started by running a bead around the edge of the back of the bead board. However, I quickly realized that that was not going to be enough because we have those really thick popcorn ceilings. So we decided to add big dots or blobs uh, every so often onto the back. That way it would penetrate through the popcorn and then sit straight onto the flat part of the ceiling. And here is our very first sheet going up. We just moved it into position and then pressed it as firmly as we could up against the ceiling and then took our brad nailer and two inch brad nails and went around the perimeter of the beadboard. You can also come follow me on Facebook and Instagram. If you are already, then you've already been seeing a lot of these updates more in real time. If you haven't yet, I will put a link to them down in the description box. You can come over and see what we are up to now. Mm -hmm. 
Once we went around all of the edges, we went back through the middle, doing our best to find studs. That way those nails would stay in tight. Another tip is to actually nail on the flat part and not in those ridges. It will make it much easier when you have to go back with spackle and sand all of that out. Once all of the nails were added, we had this roller on hand from another project. I believe it's for vinyl flooring, but we used it to press the rest of the beadboard flat up against the wall just to make sure all of our Total Tech adhesive would bond to the ceiling. And now we're gonna move on to the next sheet. As you can see here, we have a little bit of a bump out for our shower, so we had to measure and cut for allowance of this. Once our beadboard was cut down, I came back in with my Total Tech, and this time I'm just adding the blobs on the back. I didn't go around all of the edges. And another great thing about Total Tech is that it's going to save us some work using this instead of just all nails because we're not gonna have to use so many nails to stick this onto the ceiling. And the less nails that we have, the less nail holes that we have that we'll need to fill with spackle later, which means the less sanding that we'll have to do, and it will give us a much more smooth and consistent and beautiful finish. And now we're measuring for that last little strip. Unfortunately, we only had about four inches that we had to cut for this. If we didn't have that, we would have saved having to purchase a full third sheet of beadboard, and we would have been able to get away with just using two sheets, but sometimes you have to do what you have to do. Once we had that beadboard strip cut down, again, adding our Total Tech to the back of it before using those brad nails to keep it in place. And here is a look at the ceilings covered, but of course now we have those raw edges we need to take care of. And what we're gonna do is use a three quarter inch quarter round to cover up and make a more finished look. We're also gonna be using a waterproof version for the shower area to make it waterproof. We're cutting the corners at a 45 degree angle with a miter saw, but you could also use a hand saw and miter box for this. Again, we're gonna be using our Total Tech along with our two inch brad nails to attach the molding all the way around the perimeter of the room. I always love a good before and after. I always take lots of pictures before and then enjoy seeing the big transformation after. If you do too, please give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned to the end for the big before and after reveal. And now I'm able to come in with my spackle and add that to all of the nail holes. I let that dry, sanded it down, and then was able to paint. So this is a white paint. I didn't have them add any kind of pigment to it. It's just a hand straight off of the shelf and it is also mildew and water resistant. So it was bathroom safe. And I just made sure to tape off all of the edges used a brush along all of the edges first, and then I came in with my paint roller and tackled all of the beadboard.
Of course, we're right in the middle of a huge, complete bathroom renovation. So please subscribe if you would like to continue to follow us along on this journey. Here is another before shot of what the ceiling looked like before we added the beadboard. And it is such a huge and beautiful transformation. Of course, we even added a brand new exhaust fan. I do want to thank the original super glue again for sponsoring this video. I will have a link down in the description box for more information on total tech. If you enjoy renovations and DIYs, I will have more popping up on your screen. So you can check those out next. Again, if you haven't yet, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye everyone.